Hey everyone, it's Michael and Ruben from BullionNow, BullionNow.com.au and I am so happy I can just about dance on camera. They've arrived! <laughs> just about but not quite. <laughs> just about not quite. <laughs> I cannot believe it, we actually have a Perth Mint product before release date! It's which right for release date! Which means this can come out on release date. Um, we can actually say, we have them into the shop, we have it. them in stock, woo! Very exciting. <laughs> Indeed, we are talking, as I showed just before, about the 2024 Kookaburra from the Perth Mint in the one-ounce silver. It really doesn't take much to amuse me, does it? <laughs> um, you know, I live a very sheltered life. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, you know, we're just in a, uh, in a job where we really enjoy what we do. Maybe that's it. <laughs> but they are in. They are in. I think what it is, is we like... It frustrates me when we can't do the right thing by the customer. That's, that's it. when it's outside of our control. And it's also one that has, has changed. It's not the way it always has been. We, no. we, we long for the days where we used to get, you know, the good old days available for release day. And uh, it is good to see that we have done so in this occasion. Back on topic. So we've got the release of the 2024 Kookaburra. Um, always a very sought after popular coin limited mm. to... I'm going to say it's 500,000, but I did, should have checked it up before I came on camera. If it's not 500, Ruben will put it across the bottom of the screen right now. Now, this is an interesting design, and I would suggest probably not as controversial as the kookaburra on the bird bath. Made controversial by yourself. <laughs> by uh, me, just, yes. just, you know, to make that clear, I think if you move a little bit, there is actually still a, uh, a kookaburra. That's a kookaburra. Not the only one. <laughs> We've got uh, memories of designs past. Let's yes. see if this one's going to cause as much controversy. So this one's actually, I, I think it will a little bit. Um, number one, because it's got, it's the first one with King Charles on the back. Yep. Um, number two, because the design is very reminiscent of a very recent Wedgetail Eagle design from the Perth Mint. So, I don't know if that's just confused everyone. I, I, um, I will wait and uh, pass judgment after I've uh, seen it. We will reveal all in a moment. Ooh. So you can see there, it's, it's actually, unlike the bird bath, I would actually say this is a realistic design. So you've got a kookaburra in flight there with a snake in its um, claws. Are you expecting our viewers to take photos of a kookaburra in flight with a snake in its claws? No. Please okay. do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the legal action that would follow. So please, we are not endorsing any of that. <laughs> However, um, it, it does... I mean, it's not exactly the same, but it harks back to the 23 Wedgetail Eagle, which was a Wedgetail in flight with a snake in its claws. So um, Also, thought, in recent memory, the I know it's not Perth Mint, but the Germania Golden Eagle. Um, with a snake also in its claws. Yeah, but at least that one you could argue was a, was actually a, a Maltese yes. symbol. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, I'm just saying, you know, we've we've seen a bit of the uh, the, yeah. the snake in the claws of a in the clutches of a bird recently. So, so if this if the wedge tail hadn't come out and and probably the Germania one as well, but if it hadn't come out so recently, yeah. I would have said this was a really smash hit. Yeah, like Knocked it's something the different. They've stepped away from you know some of the kookaburras. You go, oh, that harks back to a you know a previous kookaburra design. Mm. Um, this one's a bit of a standalone from a kookaburra's perspective, but um, like I said, unfortunately, I actually really like the design. It just concerns me that they've kind of duplicated in some ways. I quite like the different textures they've got going on there. They've yeah. done quite well with the, the feathers and the, the scales on the snake and even down to the, um, the, 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 quite, the mountainous region uh, at the bottom. I think it, yeah, it, it really feels quite, quite alive and, and detailed. So. It does, and the way they've played around with the mint and the mat. And yep. You know, it's um, they've done well. The, the design itself is really good. I'm just concerned yeah, I think, about that wedge tail component to it. I think, uh, yeah, big big ticks from me. And over the other side is also a little bit... Uh, uh, the one that's probably just as controversial, if not more. We have it. King Charles. Doesn't look right. It's still, it still, it feels out of place still for me. And I think it will take me quite a while to get used to... Um, getting old, Rubes. That's it. I'm set in my ways, <laughs> Michael. Um, but... Yeah, I think an interesting one as well, considering that this year is going to be very mixed because we're still mm. going to be seeing things like the Dragon um, when they release in things like the 10 kilo, the kilo throughout this year are yeah. still going to be coming out with Her Majesty on it. So this is a, going to be a very weird year of, wait, is this coin Her Majesty or King Charles? Yeah. Um, so they've done an interesting, again, on the other side with the matte and the mirrored finish again. But you're right, with the King Charles, Queen Elizabeth thing, my understanding is they can keep using Queen Elizabeth for any coin released prior to um, May yep. of this year. Now, I don't know if that's end of May or start of May, but prior to May, 
they can keep using the Queen Elizabeth one. So technically they could have used it for this, but it's going to mean things like um, probably the 10 kilo uh, dragon, which usually comes out after May, if they follow that normal timetable. Mm. Even after May, we're going to keep getting the Queen coming through because the design the dragons was released were approved, yeah. um, earlier, the, like late last year sort of thing. So yeah, you're right, Rubes, it's going to be an interesting year. But what do you think, what do you think about, oh, sorry, I'll get to no, that. What do you think about the lack of the ring around the outside of the, uh, on, yeah. around him as well? Because we're used to seeing that in the Kookaburras. I'll quickly throw up a, a photo of what that looks like. Um, yeah, what, what do you think about it, it missing that? Don't know. Is it, is it good that they've kind of gone away and completely redesigned it? Or is it missing quite a staple part of the design, do you think? I think it's just what we're used to. Yeah. Um, I, I quite like this as a, as, again, as a standalone design. I don't have an issue with this one. Yep. Um, obviously, I like the, is it the 2020? I'm trying to remember now with, with, the, with the shrunken monarch yeah. on it. I really like that design and I would have But again, that's just difference as there, well. You know, it's, it's yeah, something, with, something new and... Yeah, but with that one, we got almost three sides to a coin. Yeah. Which I really liked. I thought that was creative and I kind of wish they'd done that again. Um, I think with the line around the outside, I think it's more just a case of what we're used to. I think it, I don't think it would add anything to this. Um, and I think by taking it away, it actually makes it, this is different. You know, it's, it's gone for that difference. So I think I support it. I think it's good. All I don't, right. I don't, like I said, as a standalone coin, I seem to be saying that a lot this year, because <laughs> um, I said the same thing about the dragon. As a standalone coin, I like it. Um, it's just those, those comparisons that make me a little uncomfortable. Now, I interrupted you before. What were you going to, what were you going to, to, to say? Probably wasn't important, but <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've, um, we've got these ready to go. So you can place your orders. They're not going to be up for pre-order straight away. You may find if the demand is quite large, we may put them on the pre-order at some point to say, hang on a sec, you know, you're going to have to wait for the next delivery arrive. But we, we do have further orders coming through. So, yeah. yeah. And we do. We've got several orders placed being delivered over the next month or so. So even if you miss out on the initial blush, you will get, um, you know, you can certainly pre-order and you'll still get it within a week or two anyway. But these are red hot and they are in the store and they are available over the phones. So one 8410 or um, via email or the website. So sales at bullionnow.com.au or bullionnow.com.au. Get them while you can. They are limited to that half a mil. Um, something keeps telling me that it's actually 300,000, but I think I'm mixing that up with the dragon. Um, so, but they are limited number. They tend to be available for oh, three, four, five months. Um, but after that, they are well and truly long gone. I think Perth Mint have hit a winner on this one. We Absolutely. will uh, see what the wider community thinks of it once uh, people see. Very exciting. We will see you in the next video, Michael. Sounds good. See ya.